What if everything you thought you knew about American identity, about where we come from, who we are, and what unites us, was only part of the story? Thanks to breakthroughs in genetic science, researchers are now uncovering a more complex and surprising portrait of the American people, one that stretches far beyond the familiar tales of pilgrims, pioneers, and Ellis Island immigrants. By analyzing the DNA of millions of Americans, scientists are revealing layers of ancestry that history books never mentioned, and sometimes deliberately ignored. What they found is astonishing. People who identify as white often carry traces of African or Native American ancestry. Many African Americans have European and indigenous roots. Latino DNA reveals deep indigenous, African, and even Jewish connections and Native American ancestry goes back much further than we imagined, showing links not just to Siberia, but possibly to ancient Southeast Asia and Oceania. This isn't just a story about migration patterns. It's a story about forgotten peoples, forced assimilation, secret relationships, and unexpected resilience. It's about how centuries of conquest, colonization, enslavement, and immigration left their mark not just on the land, but in our blood. In this series, we'll explore the hidden history written in American DNA, starting with the first peoples and spanning the globe. The findings may challenge how we define race, heritage, and identity in the United States today, but they also remind us that we're all connected, often in ways we never imagined. Let's begin. Long before Columbus set foot in the New World, Long before Jamestown or Plymouth Rock, the American continents were already home to a vast and diverse population, the first Americans. For decades, the conventional wisdom held that these early peoples migrated from Siberia to Alaska via the Bering Land Bridge around 13,000 years ago. But recent genetic research is rewriting that timeline and broadening the story dramatically. Thanks to ancient DNA recovered from archaeological sites in Alaska, Montana, and even Brazil, scientists now believe that the first humans arrived in the Americas as early as 16,000 to 18,000 years ago, possibly even earlier. And not all of them may have come by land. Some evidence suggests coastal migrations along the Pacific Rim, with seafaring groups slowly making their way down the western shores of the continent. These early populations gave rise to an incredible diversity of cultures, languages, and genetic lineages. From the Inuit of the Arctic to the Maya of Central America and the Andean peoples of South America, Native American genomes reveal both deep shared ancestry and localized adaptations. Recent studies even hint at mysterious genetic signals, tiny traces of ancestry that don't match Siberian populations but may point to ancient contact with groups from Southeast Asia or Oceania. What's more, geneticists have found that Native American DNA underwent major bottlenecks, sharp reductions in population, possibly due to climate shifts or the isolating effects of geography. These events left a lasting impact on genetic diversity, making it easier to trace certain lineages and harder to detect others. When European colonization began in the 15th century, it brought catastrophic consequences, war, disease, displacement, and genocide. The native population collapsed by over 90% in some areas. But their DNA survived in native communities that persist to this day and in the genes of millions of Americans who may not even realize they carry indigenous ancestry. In the American genome, the legacy of the First Peoples is not just preserved, it's foundational. The arrival of Europeans in the Americas in the late 15th century unleashed one of the most dramatic demographic transformations in human history. With settlers from Spain, England, France, Portugal, and the Netherlands came a flood of new genes, languages, customs, and technologies that would forever reshape the genetic landscape of the New World. Early European colonists, mostly men, often formed unions with indigenous women, either consensual or coerced, resulting in the earliest mixed ancestry populations in the Americas. This genetic fusion gave rise to distinct communities, such as the Mestizos in Latin America and the Medes in Canada. In the United States, especially in early frontier regions, mixed heritage families became more common than history books often admit. Genetic studies now confirm this. 
Many Americans who identify as white or African American unknowingly carry small but measurable percentages of Native American or European ancestry that reflect these early entanglements. Likewise, some Latino populations show a complex blend of European, indigenous, and African DNA, each strand telling part of the colonial story. But the colonial era wasn't just about blending, it was also about hierarchy. Colonial powers imposed rigid social structures based on race, determining rights, status, and even marriage eligibility. These systems created long-lasting patterns of genetic stratification where certain ancestries became more visible in some regions and hidden in others. Today, modern DNA testing is revealing the full extent of this colonial legacy. From Appalachian families with unacknowledged native ties to Afro-Latino communities tracing their roots to Iberia and West Africa, the story of American genetics is inseparable from the history of European colonization and the blending it forced and fostered. One of the most defining chapters in the genetic history of the Americas is the transatlantic slave trade, a forced migration of over 12 million Africans, whose descendants today form a vital part of the continent's genetic and cultural landscape. In the United States, the legacy of this mass displacement lives on not only in culture and memory, but also deep within the DNA of millions of African Americans. Genetic analyses have revealed that the majority of African Americans trace their ancestry to regions in West and Central Africa, countries such as Nigeria, Ghana, Angola, and Senegal. However, this heritage is far from uniform. DNA studies show significant variation from person to person, reflecting the diversity of ethnic groups, Igbo, Yoruba, Akan, Bantu, and many others, captured and sold into slavery. This diversity was often erased or homogenized by the conditions of slavery, which stripped people of their names, languages, and traditions. Yet, genetic signatures persisted. Many African Americans carry specific genetic markers linked to ancestral resistance to malaria, such as the sickle cell trait, and unique mitochondrial DNA lineages passed down through African mothers. These maternal lines are often the most intact because enslaved women, despite their suffering, bore generations who continued their bloodlines in America. Moreover, modern genetic testing has uncovered another dimension, admixture. Many African Americans possess varying degrees of European ancestry, most often passed down through male ancestors during slavery. This uncomfortable reality speaks to the history of power imbalances, coercion, and abuse under plantation slavery, where white slaveholders often fathered children with enslaved women. Today, African-American DNA tells a story of resilience through tragedy. Though written in the language of base pairs and chromosomes, it echoes the journeys of millions who survived unimaginable hardship. It also reshapes modern identity, offering many the opportunity to reconnect with African roots lost for centuries. DNA doesn't just chart biology. It uncovers history that written records tried to erase. The United States is often called a nation of immigrants, and nowhere is this more evident than in the DNA of modern Americans. From the mid-1800s to the early 20th century, massive waves of immigrants from Europe and later other parts of the world reshaped the genetic makeup of the population. The first major wave came from Northern and Western Europe, the Irish fleeing famine, Germans escaping political upheaval, and Scandinavians seeking farmland and opportunity. These groups settled across the country, particularly in the Northeast and Midwest. Their genetic contributions are still visible today, with many Americans tracing ancestry back to Celtic, Anglo-Saxon, or Germanic roots. As the 20th century dawned, new arrivals began to come from Southern and Eastern Europe, Italians, Poles, Jews, Greeks, and Slavs, bringing not only diverse cultures and religions, but also distinct genetic lineages. These immigrants often settled in urban centers, contributing to the rich ethnic neighborhoods of cities like New York, Chicago, and Boston. Despite facing discrimination at the time, their descendants are now part of the American mainstream. Genetic studies show that these immigrant groups introduced a wide range of European haplogroups into the U.S. gene pool. Interestingly, many individuals with European ancestry today carry combinations of DNA from multiple regions, 
reflecting generations of intermarriage and blending. The story doesn't end with Europe. By the early 20th century, immigrants from Asia, especially China, Japan, and later the Philippines, added new genetic diversity, primarily along the West Coast. Though smaller in number at the time, their legacy grew over the decades and became more prominent in later immigration waves. These 19th and 20th century arrivals didn't just build America. They became part of its genetic foundation. Their DNA tells a story of hope, hardship, and the pursuit of a better life, written into the very fabric of the modern American genome. Modern DNA testing has uncovered unexpected ancestral threads woven into the genetic fabric of the United States, often hidden for generations or entirely forgotten. Many Americans discover small but meaningful percentages of ancestry that don't appear in family lore, raising questions about lost histories and buried identities. For example, people with primarily European ancestry may find Native American or African DNA, hinting at early intermixing during colonial times or in frontier communities. These genetic traces often went unacknowledged due to social pressures, segregation, or deliberate efforts to pass as white. Similarly, African Americans may carry European and indigenous ancestry, reflecting both historical violence and complex relationships under slavery and Jim Crow. Recent studies also highlight Jewish, Arab, Romani, and Southeast Asian ancestry in unexpected places, often the legacy of migrations, intermarriage, or refugee movements. Many of these ancestries were lost to time, taboo, or assimilation. These surprising threads remind us that American identity is more diverse and tangled than surface appearances suggest. DNA doesn't just tell a story of where we came from. It reopens chapters once closed by history. Each newly revealed ancestry adds nuance to our understanding of what it means to be American in the fullest, truest sense. Modern genetic studies have revolutionized our understanding of American ancestry, uncovering a deeply layered and globally connected population. Large-scale analyses from companies like 23 and Me, Ancestry DNA, and academic institutions have examined the DNA of millions of Americans, revealing patterns far more complex than traditional racial or ethnic categories suggest. One of the most striking findings is the widespread presence of mixed ancestry across all groups. For example, genetic data shows that over 70% of African Americans have at least some European ancestry. Similarly, many self-identified white Americans carry small percentages of Native American or African DNA, often without prior knowledge. Hispanic-slash-Latino populations show a wide range of indigenous, European, and African admixture, varying significantly by region. These studies also reveal how migration, colonization, slavery, and intermarriage shaped today's gene pool. The genetic imprints of Irish, Italian, German, West African, Indigenous American, and even Sephardic Jewish ancestors often coexist within single individuals. Researchers can even map historical movements like the Great Migration or European Settler Expansion by examining DNA clusters across states. In short, modern genetics confirms that American identity isn't static or monolithic. It's a dynamic mosaic of global heritage, rich in complexity, diversity, and unexpected connections. The revelations from genetic research are prompting Americans to rethink long-held beliefs about identity, race, and heritage. DNA doesn't lie. It cuts through myths, assumptions, and even family lore, revealing a tapestry woven from countless migrations, unions, and upheavals. For many, discovering unexpected ancestry, whether indigenous, African, Jewish, or Asian, can be both shocking and deeply meaningful. This growing awareness challenges rigid racial categories and encourages a more inclusive understanding of what it means to be American. Rather than seeing identity as fixed or exclusive, DNA highlights the shared human story beneath the surface. It shows that the American population is not a set of isolated groups, but an ongoing blend of global lineages, some visible, some long hidden. At a time of social and cultural division, these genetic insights can foster connection. They remind us that the story of America has always been about crossing boundaries, 
geographic, cultural, and genetic. As more people explore their DNA, the very idea of American identity may continue to evolve. From a label based on appearance or surname to one rooted in shared, complex origins. In the end, the genome tells a powerful truth. We are far more interconnected than we've ever realized.